Hello my lovely people, today we're going to be reacting to and reviewing the new trailer for The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. guys um as a kid heads up i was a big fan of old country western movies i loved auckland eastwood's movies still do the scores were amazing -na -na. i'm not gonna i'm not gonna ruin it for you i'll keep it to myself okay but as soon as i see something western drop i'm excited i cry on the inside because if i cried on the outside people would think i was crazy but as soon as this trailer dropped, I had to I had to react to it and review it. So we're gonna do that quickly right now. Together. People are so easily distracted. So I'm the distractor with a little story. People can't get enough of them. Yes, well, they connect the stories to themselves, I suppose. And we all love hearing about ourselves. So long as the people in the stories are us. But not us. This will tell the tale. Mr. Scruggs. You're shooting iron work. Here's the deal, yes. Do you have anything to say before a sentence is carried out? Sentence? What's my sentence? <laughs> I'm not mad. Definitely not mad. I really like the muted coloration throughout the whole trailer. There's also a really nice piece of scenery. If I remember to, I'll edit edit. What was that word that I just said? What was that sound that came out of my mouth? I'll edit a photo of it somewhere here or here or here. Who knows? Depends how I feel in 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it looks really good as long as, um, you know, Liam Neeson doesn't have anyone go missing. Turn it into a four-part movie. Was it four parts? Sorry, my brain turned off after the second one. Was there only two? turned off during the second one at least it wasn't as bad as the fast and the furious movies is that still ha there's another one coming out can someone speak to someone who's still watching these movies it should have ended after the second one what even happened after the second one does anyone remember what's going on no the third one because they, they had that tokyo oh my gosh i'm having flashbacks of really bad things now I don't even remember what the third movie was about. Whatever happened to the guy that was in Tokyo Drift? Why are we talking about this now? This is meant to be about this trailer. Alright, so it's a six-part series directed by the Coen Brothers. Looks amazing. The Coen Brothers, can they do wrong? Because if they can, I haven't seen it. Don't agree with it. I think they've, they've done a great job with everything they've done. We've got James Franco... But the, the funny thing is, these two aren't playing Mr. Scruggs. Uh, the, the, there was another 
I'm, I'm sure Buster's a different character. And he came in, he was a smart ass looking guy. Am I going to get demonetized for saying smart ass? YouTube, please have mercy upon me. We don't, not everything needs to be demonetized. Guys, it's pretty bad. But, um,. It is, it is uh, created by Netflix. Netflix, I think, is doing some great things at the moment. I've been really impressed with a lot of their independent original series. As, what's the plural for that word? It's really way too late for me to be talking and making sense. I'm sorry. I, I was falling asleep and this trailer popped up. Did you guys know that uh, I get trailers pop up in the middle of the night here because I live in Australia and... Hollywood doesn't cater to me. They don't like me. The only Aussie they like is Mel Gibson. No, they don't like him anymore. What's that other guy's name? Hugh Jackman. They liked Hugh Jackman and Nicole Kidman. Okay, maybe they like a lot of Aussies. They just don't like me. Tangents. Tangents all the time today. Well, it's it's definitely something interesting. Uh, I'll definitely watch it. It's only six parts, so I think I doubt anyone's going to lose interest. It looks pretty good. There's some great scenery, really nice coloration, great score so far. I don't know if they're going to ruin it. Please don't put rap in this. <laughs> Look, the last trailer that dropped uh, for Creed, I reviewed it, and I wanted to mention this real quick because people were people were triggered. And I get it. They're like, it's a different movie. It's, um, you know, it's just, it's a different storyline. But here's where I stand with that. And, you know, I'm, I'm not attacking anyone. I don't want to attack anyone. But the Creed franchise, these two movies, the first one that came out, the second one that's coming out, they would be nothing. They would have no legs to stand on if it weren't for the original Rocky franchise. Without Rocky, there would be no Creed. Creed was a supporting character in the Rocky movies, and little Creed is just his son, okay? Nobody would care. Um, and I think a lot of the original fans are going back to watch Creed, and I think that's why it's so successful. The reason the Rocky franchise was so successful was because of the score. I'm sick and tired, and this is coming from someone that grew up listening to rap music. I grew up listening to old school rap music, okay? I'm just sick and tired of current rap ruining movies for me, because I can't... I'm sorry, Little, little Pump, Little P, Little Freak, I don't know their names. I can't. With, it hurts my feelings. Um, you kind of have to cater to the audience, and I get that they're, they're catering to a new audience and not necessarily the old audience, which is me, haggity old me, but, uh, I don't know, I just don't feel like the score fits the movie, and I know it's about the two characters, someone else was like, you do know, she doesn't even know it's about the characters, I know it's about the characters, I just don't like the song, okay, it's... people were triggered, but I, I was triggered, because that franchise, I grew up on it, I watched all the movies, I know about Adrian, Rocky's my mate in my mind, Apollo Creed, I cried when he died, I like his son, I just don't like the score. I think the movies are going to be great though. The first one was incredible, I watched it in theatres, I cried, and the second one's going to be incredible too because the first one was great and the second one looks like it's going to be great. Uh, I wasn't rubbishing anything, I just feel like I since this is my channel, should be entitled to my opinion. And um, I don't want to upset anyone. You're entitled to your opinion this, the same way I am. Um, but, you know, I understand it's a new franchise. But in that same respect, I know I'm going around in circles here. We're just merry-go-rounding. But that franchise would be nothing without the original Rocky franchise. Score still think it's rubbish um, but if you love it you love it that's great you can be fist body people do to rap music now i hope they don't fist pump that's a that's that's a dance music thing right wow i'm really showing my age aren't i 
wait wait just to to bring it all together before i leave i have these forehead wrinkles they're pretty bad showing my age right but um i did promise you guys that i was going to start uploading on instagram but i want to find out a little more about the rules before i start uploading this is a little bit of an update as well as reaction review should i have said that at the beginning but if you're still here like thank you hi um but so i'm trying to find out if i'm actually allowed to share teasers like poster teasers on my instagram for you guys so when a poster comes out you'll be some of the first people to see it but i don't know how like i know on youtube you get demonetized for raising the right eyebrow like the rock like that could be a trademark issue so i i'm trying to find out the rules on instagram because i don't want to break the rules i'm a very square person um do people still use that term or am i showing my age again ah uh, but um i just like to follow the rules so that's why i haven't put anything up yet but if you know anything about that comment section down below if you don't well i'm gonna start uploading on the instagram really soon i share a lot of teasers and um like um information about upcoming films on my facebook so if you want to follow me there links are in the description uh, if you like this video and you want to let me know make sure you give me a thumbs up if you haven't already make sure you subscribe so you can run with me and hit the little notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload I think that's all I have to say but until next time my beautiful human beings I'm so sorry about the rambling but I'll see you all later bye <laughs>